on the nervous system, especially on the brain. So calming the body down. Calming the body down and calming the chemistry down is always a good health strategy, but especially if there's conductivity issues, problems with electrical conductivity. And that's basically what a seizure is. It's a short circuit in the electrical energy in the brain. So calming the body down is a very, very important and helpful strategy. The ketogenic diet does just that. It calms the body down, which means it's not just important for seizure disorders. It's important for all disorders, and it's a very important anti-aging strategy as well. So don't think of the ketogenic diet, and I'll tell you what, how you do that here in a minute, but don't think of it as just for seizure disorders. Think about it for longevity. Think about it for anti-aging. Think about it for overall health, certainly for any inflammatory diseases that you may have. And, of course, all diseases have an inflammatory component. So what, is it, what does it involve? It involves restricting the amount of bread and pasta and cereal and eating more saturated fat as well as fat, uh, most coconut oil types, types of fat, butter, ghee, and then also uh, making sure you're getting enough protein and then also making sure you're getting your micronutrients, especially micronutrients that help you process sugar, including magnesium and the B vitamins. Magnesium and B vitamins are also very calming. turns out that nutrients that help you process sugar also have a calming effect on the body and on the brain. So long story short, ketogenic diet means restricting breads, sugars, uh, fruit juices, anything that spikes your blood sugar and your insulin, and increasing your intake of saturated fats, fats, and protein and then making sure that you're getting your micronutrients as well. I got a letter yesterday, uh, a couple days ago anyway, from a gal in Korea, Suzanne. I know she's listening. I think she's listening because she listens a lot and she sends me letters a lot. Thank you, Suzanne. She sent me a really neat note and I'm, and she's absolutely correct about this. It turns out that cannabinoids, especially these uh, legal cannabinoids, cannabinoids are the active ingredients in marijuana, but the body makes cannabinoids. Your skin makes cannabinoids. Your brain makes cannabinoids. That's right. Your brain makes the same kind of active materials that are found in marijuana and pot, which is just another reason why marijuana laws are so stupid, stupid, stupid. And just an, another example of government fascist control trying to regulate a, a, a plant that contains chemicals that are made in the brain, made in the body, nonsensical, ridiculous uh, uh, government strategy. In any case, it turns out that some of these active materials, and we're finding more and more of these active materials in the marijuana plant, some of these active materials have, have anti-seizure benefits. And Suzanne sent me a note about something, I think she said called it CBG. There's, there's many of these fractions that are found in, in uh, marijuana, and, and drug companies, of course, are trying to make synthetic versions of these so they can sell them for a lot of money. But you might want to have your friend look up something called CBG. Um, also, there's another one called CBD. These are not exactly the, the, uh, the, the psychoactive component in marijuana, but they've got nice, relaxing properties, especially for seizures. Um, and you can, uh, you can explore that. I think you can find uh, on the Internet, you can find some sublingual versions of this CBG and CBD. You can also find versions of this CBG, this active component in marijuana that you can, uh, that you can inhale. Uh, in, in various types of devices, inhaler devices, and these can have some modulating effects on brain chemistry and may be beneficial for seizure disorders. Thank you, Suzanne, for pointing that out. I forgot to mention that to our, our listener. So ketogenic diet, you might want to look at these cannabinoid type of substances that you could find on the Internet. Uh, and then there's great nutritional supplements for, uh, for seizure disorders. One of the best is something called GABA, G-A-B-A. Uh, magnesium, as I said earlier, may have some calming properties on the brain. Certainly the B vitamins can be wonderful in this regard. And anything that helps you metabolize sugar can have a benefit too. Uh, glycine is also an amino acid, G-L-Y-C-I-N-E, that has been used to treat seizure disorders in the past. And same with vitamin E. That may help you. And coenzyme Q10 might be a benefit as well. So lots of things you could do if you're dealing with seizure disorders. Most especially they involve calming the brain, relaxing the electrical energy that flows through the brain to keep those, those short circuits from happening. It kind of makes sense when you think about it. If you have a lot of energy going through the brain, you're more likely to have short circuits. But by calming the brain down, Using nutrition, nutritional supplements, dietary strategies, you can reduce the incidences of seizures. Thanks for your question there, Bob. And don't forget to, Bob, if you're there, are you still there, my friend? I am, but I have got, I'm supposed to be in a staff meeting. Go ahead. And, uh, you, you're free to go. Home. Send me an email. Do you, do you, I, don't, I, don't, wait, I don't do that. Can oh, you, you don't do email? my address? Yeah, but I can't get your address unless you send me an email, so I don't know how you'll do it. Other, I can't other, give it to you now. Uh, I'm, I can't. Okay, we'll get your, you hang tight, we'll get your phone number, John will get your phone number off here. Thanks so much for your call, appreciate it, Bob, and thanks for your question. Okay, let's move on to Montana. Welcome Wally to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? Hey, good morning, Doc. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? 
I got a question on a seven-month-old. Uh, he was just seven months old yesterday. Happy uh, seven-month birthday. He's bedridden since born. Okay. He has good motor skills. Why is he uh, bedridden? He's 13 and a half pounds. What's going on? Why is he bedridden? Uh, he's been diagnosed with a chromosome deletion 12Q. Okay, so he has some kind of genetic thing going on. How, what do you, is he breastfeeding? Uh, no, they're feeding him through a tube into the stomach, into the into the intestines, I believe. He cannot keep anything down. Well, that's a, you know, you can use nutrition, but I'll tell you what, he's going to be, He's. I assume he's got a doctor and, and he's got multiple doctors watching over him. Well, he, apparently he spent the last almost six months in a, in a Denver hospital. This is an infant? Yes, seven month old. Seven month old infant, wow. You know, obviously nutrition is important and I yes. hope they're taking care of it, but I don't know that they would be. You, you may want, is this I, I, somebody you know, obviously, right? Yes, a friend, yes. Okay, you may want to have the, the, the parents making absolutely positively sure that the baby's getting plenty of nutrition, especially energizing nutrients and, and the ones that get lost the quickest, which are the electrolytes and the B vitamins and vitamin C. But I'll tell you what, as long as he's under uh, that kind of intense hospital care and doctor care, it's going to be tough to do anything with it for him nutritionally that doesn't, that doesn't pass through the doctors. But have the parents making sure that he's getting enough water-soluble electrolytes and B vitamins uh, and then also vitamin C. Those are the most important things that I would consider. But again, it's going to be tough because you're going to be working through. You have to. You're going to have to get everything through the hospital and through the doctors. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Wally. I appreciate your call. Okay, we'll take a break. We're coming back with your phone calls. I've uh, got a couple lines open at eight eight five five six six zero forty two sixty one. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you when we come back from our timeout. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, veterinarian and naturopathic physician. The Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy with an important message. Take charge of your health. Do not continue to blindly follow the system that has failed us all. I appreciate GCN listeners because you're open-minded and intelligent. If our system is so great, why is it that the United States, the USA, ranks nearly 60th worldwide in longevity and number one in obesity? All the while, we spend more money than all the other countries combined annually on unnecessary health care procedures and toxic drugs. It doesn't take much to get on track, not with the government government or pharmaceutical companies, but rather you in control of your own health with a basic understanding of nutrition and supplementation. FDI Longevity has the finest quality health, sports, and energy supplements available. GCN listeners are invited to join our team of people who want to stay healthy well into old age. We are currently looking for specialists to represent FDI Longevity and save America. To buy products at wholesale prices or join our business team, go to GCNteam.com. That's GCNteam.com. Support GCN. Get healthy. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. 
Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the Total Transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. Limited number of free programs available. Call now, 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. G. On the bright side, reading from Medscape for pharmacists, use of anti-anxiety or sleeping medications may significantly increase mortality risk. This is a headline from uh, Medscape for pharmacists. Uh, The headline actually says, may triple mortality risk. Anti-anxiety medication, so-called anxiolytics, and sleeping medications may triple mortality risk. And they're specifically picking on Ambien here. Uh, and that is, you know, that's, I can't say I'm surprised as a pharmacist. There's no way a drug cannot increase your risk of mortality because sim- simply because the body's got to expend its precious resources detoxifying your medication. Now, if you're on one medicine once in a while, that's one thing. But if you're on chronic medication, what, what's that going to do to your liver? That means your liver is now got to spend its precious resources, which are usually in scarce supply given the standard American diet, on detoxification of toxic medications. And this has nothing to do with side effects, by the way. This is not going to be on the package insert. You're not going to read about it in the side effect profile. This is just how the body works. It's going to have to detoxify your meds. That means less vitamin C and less B-complex and less magnesium that's going to be around for keeping you healthy. That's why... I say prescription drugs are poisons, not being uh, poetic or rhetorical. They're literally poisons. They require the the expenditure of precious resources, and there's no way that that cannot have a negative effect on your life as well as a negative effect on your longevity. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number. Rose, what is up? Welcome to the Bright Side, my dear. How are you doing? Hi, Ben. We always appreciate your, your effort, your kindness, and all Thank the goodness you. there is in you. Thank um, you. I wanted to ask you, I don't want to take time, I feel guilty, um, because I know, may, you know, I know there's all the major conditions, you know. Uh, if my son, my youngest son emails you and he's going to use Alan, because he, fa- he sent you a message to Facebook. Yeah? His name was Alan? And he, he saw, He's uh, an older teenager, and he's kind of uh, sensitive and, and very uh, hyper about this condition. That What's his condition? What does he have? He has dry skin. I've explained to him what I've learned with you. Okay. Still, because you may have that ability to to convey with to him I, in a I'll way be, to to convince him because you know I'll be glad to talk to him make sure he puts on there Alan but just so you know real quick for our listeners and anybody who's concerned about dry skin number 1 it is not a cosmetic problem it is not a superficial problem it's a chemistry problem and if you have dry skin that means you got a problem in your chemistry that could very well be shortening your life or causing or resulting in some kind of degenerative disease or worse so dry skin is a significant and serious problem and the fact that most people, not many people, most people have dry 
once again, I'm speaking to you as somebody who's been in the skincare business for 30 years. Okay, I know a thing or two about the skin, and I can tell you that most, not many, most people have dry skin, especially as they get older. So what you want to do for dry skin is step number one, work on fat absorption issues. That means uh, the gallbladder and the stomach and the intestine, all your digestive strategies. The, the nightly essence product is important. Uh, digestive enzymes are very important. You can use lecithin. All your 